Loop recorders, um, they don't do any pacing or shocking functions like a defibrillator would. All they are there for is just monitoring cardiac uh, rhythms. So they're just going to record. We put them in patients like that have had a stroke and we don't know why, or they're having Mm. syncope and we don't know why, or palpitations. It's just like a constant telemonitor. They put it underneath the skin, um, and it's an outpatient procedure. And so with MRIs with those devices, uh, one of the things that we see with those is it can kind of clear the data on those devices. So we come in, we interrogate those devices, we get if there's been any episodes, and that's it. pull it off. Yep, they're all compatible. Um, We have two device companies that have, or excuse me, three device companies that have loop recorders. That's uh, Medtronic, Biotronic, and St. Jude. Oh, nice. Uh, And is there, are they pretty much all evenly used? I mean, do you see one more, one manufacturer or the other one? Yeah, Medtronic is the one that we see the most. Okay, where Um, are they based out of where are they based out of? They're all out of the U.S. Uh, Medtronic is mostly in Minnesota. That's I think where their big uh, their big hub is is up in Minnesota. Mm. Okay. Um, and then we have Biotronic. We don't see those that often. They're a lot larger than our Medtronic in St. Jude. Um, and I would say overall quality, um, you do see a little bit of a difference in the EGMs and the things that you get from uh, the different devices. But battery life and all that, Medtronic's kind of the one that's started. Yeah, yeah, they led. They kind of put these in first so that's the one that we see the most of 